All right, everybody, welcome back. Bearded Drums here, your personal drum nerd. Well, we've got a new product to talk about today, and I had actually kind of touched on this a while back in one of the Bearded Breakdowns and one of the vlog posts. So let's go ahead and get started with today's episode. Promark Firegrain, that's what we're going to be talking about today. And I've actually had these sticks for about three weeks now, gotten several gigs under my belt using them, and I've actually had several of my drum friends play these so I could get some feedback from them as well. So before we get started though, if you're not familiar with the Promark Firegrain line, I'll give you a little rundown. Basically, this is Promark's hickory stick that they have applied a flame tempering process to very similar to the way that they treat professional baseball bats. And through this flame tempering process, you're supposed to be able to get more life out of the stick and it's supposed to be able to take a little bit more of a beating before it starts giving way and chipping off. Now, as I said, this is a classic hickory stick from Promark and they offer it in several variations. There is the classic line, which is just the hickory fired tempered stick. And they also have the select balance version. Now, if you're not familiar with the Select Balance system by Promark, basically you have two variations. You have the Rebound, which is weighted more toward the back of the stick, which will give your fulcrum a little more bounce when you're playing. And then you have Forward Balance. And obviously these are weighted a little more to the front of the stick. So if you choke back and grab the back of the stick and use a lot of the front weight, that might be the one you're looking for. Now, I've played Promark sticks for a long time. I've always enjoyed their products. And as of late, I've been using the oak sticks. I use them because they tend to be a lot more durable than hickory sticks. But the problem I noticed after playing the oak sticks for a while, because it is a heavier wood, I was getting fatigued in my wrist and in my forearms. Now, obviously, I don't like this, so I started looking for options. And being that I tear hickory up so fast, it really wasn't the way I was going to go. But about this time, Promark released the fire grain. So of course, and I showed this in my vlog post, I ran over to the Mobile Guitar Center, I picked some up, and as I've said, I've done several weeks of playing, and now we're going to take a look at the stick and see how it's held up against my playing and several of my drum friends that have helped me kind of wear these sticks out. Now taking all that into account, I think we've got enough here to do an accurate review on the performance of these sticks and give you an idea if this is something that you should be looking for. All right, so here is the very first weekend with the sticks. No marks on them yet, brand new. I actually enjoyed playing them. It was a typical 5A, so it wasn't anything I wasn't used to. It felt really good. The hickory was nice and light. Didn't have any problems to speak of. And here is what they looked like after the first weekend. This was two gigs with the band. And this was also the open jam on Sunday. And I believe for that Sunday, we had about three other drummers besides myself come out and play them. And they held up pretty well. And here they are as of the recording of this video. So I've had them for about three weeks. And I've taken to all of my gigs. And I've actually taken them with me to all of my open jams and had several drummers play on them. Now, one thing I did notice with these sticks, and especially with my own playing, I typically tend to saw on the hi-hat when I'm playing, which means I tear up the top of the sticks, as you can see here. But these are actually holding up pretty well. The wood at the top is not fanning off and starting to chip off, as I normally deal with with hickory sticks. And even more importantly, the tips have stayed in pretty good condition the whole way. Now, there is one little nick on one of the tips that you can see as I spin the sticks, and this was the only really heavily damaged area I found as of about three weeks of playing with these. So all in all, I find that they're very durable, and even though the coating or the coloring has started coming off, it does seem like the tempering process does harden the wood a little more and make it a little less apt to start chipping off and fraying at the top where you see. And as you can see here at the middle of the stick, where you typically would do a cross stick, it's almost taken no damage and none of the finish has even started to come off. So I'm very happy with this product. I enjoy playing them and I think Promark is definitely on to something with this tempering process. Now just to be clear, do I think this is the end all be all savior of drumsticks? No. Do not go out and purchase these sticks thinking this is gonna be the last pair you ever buy. They are gonna wear out, 
But if you're like me and you like hickory sticks, but you tend to wear them out really quick, I think this is a very nice option. It's going to give you some more life to the stick, which will extend the playing time, and you won't have to spend so much money running out and buying different pairs of sticks. So I hope all this was helpful. I hope it gives you at least a small idea of what you will get out of the performance of the Promark Firegrain. And of course, you can find these products everywhere Promark is sold, online, in your local music stores, just about anywhere. So if you felt that this was a good video and you liked the content, go ahead and crush that like button. And if you want to be up to date on the newest drum gear, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And as always, hope everyone has a great week and I'll see you on the next one.